اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحلل اقدتم من لسانی یفقہو قولی فرم آیا نمبر 35 ناو ناو دا ارلی ناو دا پروفیٹس دا ارلی ون آف دا ارلی پروفیٹس اس جیزس کرائسٹ اینڈ دے ور یو نو واٹ they were used to have this tradition that they used to sacrifice their children. They used to free the children from the all worldly services and devote them for Allah. So this was the custom of worship to give your children for Allah's name. So this is how they used to do. So this same practice, Maryam al-Islam made a vow and made a nazar. And this was a promise during her pregnancy. Now let's see the ayah. Is when Kala, she said, Imratu, wife, Imrana, Imran. Who was the wife of Imran? Maryam al-Islam's mother. Maryam al-Islam's mother's name was Hanna. So she made a vow. Rabbi, my Rabb, inni, indeed, nazartu, I, de- I devoted, I vowed, I dedicated, laka for you, nazar, noon, zara, nazar. From you, ma, whatever fi batani in my womb. Whatever was in my womb, I have, I have vowed about on you that I will give it to you. I will muharraran, is free. I will, it will be free from what? From the worldly, worldly services. Fataqabbal, so you accept minni from me. Innaka, indeed you, anta, you alone, Samiun Alim, Samiun Alim is Allah's names. You are always Sami, seen me, Ain Sama is ear. Uh, you are always hearer and Alim, Ain Lam, Meem is the root word, Ilm, and you are all the, all knower. So following this practice, Maryam al Islam's mom, she wore, she wore, during her pregnancy, that she would let the newborn, the newborn baby in the way of Allah and that she would not put the child in the worldly matters or the, in the worldly chores. Maryam al-Islam's mother thought that she will deliver a male child and will be a boy. But when she delivered, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a girl. So this is what happened. So next ayah says, Falamma, so when wada'atha, she delivered. Dod, wada'at, wow, dod, ayin, wada. Wada means to put, to put things, to place. When she placed, she delivered actually. Kalat, she said, Rabbi, O oh my Rabb, O oh my sustainer, inni, indeed I, wadatuha, I gave a birth, I delivered ha, her, unsa, a female. Oh, I've got a baby girl. Maryam al-Islam was born and her mother, Hanna, is saying, that, oh, I wanted to deliver a boy. Now, when she delivered a girl, she was full of remorse. Remorse thinking that a girl would not be able to do this duty. But, Wallahu, Wallahu and Allah, A'alamu, he is the best knower. Bima, with what? Wadat, she delivered. 
Allah knew that when they will deliver, knew very well that she had delivered a girl and a girl is different from a boy. Laisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laisa, is, it is not Zakaru, the male, Kal Unsa, like the female. Zakar, za kafra is the root word. Unsa is a woman. Nisa is also from this word. Uns. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that it is not the male like the female. Male and female are different. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his consideration for the sincerity of Hanna alayhi salam, Sayyid, Sayyida Maryam alayhi salam's mom accepted that very that that girl uh, that this very girl this girl is thereby made her status distinct from the other girls of the world she's not like other girls she is a special child and he named him Wa'anni and indeed I Sammaituha I named her Maryam so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from her we learn that a Maryam, mother holds a certain measures of guardianship over her child. A mother keeps the name. So mother kept the name wa inni sammaituha. Sammait is uh, the name. Maryam wa inni and indeed uizuha. I seek refuge. Bika. With you was Zurriyatuha and her offsprings and her children, Mina Shaitan Rajim, from the Shaitan who is rejected. It's proof that actually Maryam al Islam's mother would have never vowed if the mother had no right of guardianship over her child. So she, first of all, she vowed upon her, she said, that I want to give this child for Allah. And I want to give it in the in a uh, in a mosque. So that she may serve the mosque. So when she delivered her, she said, Oh my Lord, oh my Allah, I have delivered her a female child. I've got a baby girl. I wanted a baby boy. That's why I told a baby boy. So I said, okay, baby boy, that will go for the, to, uh, to serve the, to serve the mosque, the people of the mosque and the temple. At that time, it was not a mosque, actually a temple. And Allah knows better what she has delivered and the male is not like a female. Definitely, male it has different qualities. It's a separate kind of creation. And female is a separate kind of creation. And I have named her Maryam and her I place her and her progeny under your shelter against shaitan. And now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because when the children are born, we should put them, uh, you know, uh, where we should give them in the hands of Allah and save them from shaitan. Shaitan, what does shaitan do? What does the devil does? Devil wants to be to, to take them as their own children. So since a boy is free from some of the physical shortcomings and social disabilities associated with the girl, the mother of, of Maryam al-Islam thought that the child being a boy, he would have been more able to achieve the purpose for what she had concentrated, uh, she had considered a child to give it for Allah's name. But here, the child is not for Allah. Uh, this child was for, uh, this child was a girl. So this was in the, the Christian traditions. The name of the father of uh, Maryam al-Islam is mentioned as Jokem. If uh, this expression, however, is Interpreted to mean a woman of the house of Imran. 
it would mean that the mother of Maryam al-Islam belonged to that tribe. There is unfortunately no definite source of information that would lead us that they, there was a father. There was no father. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put his own ruh in it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make and create whatever he wants to. And that's what he delivered. He, he was, this, uh, this girl was born. Maryam al-Islam was born and Maryam al-Islam uh, gave a child later on, Isa al-Islam. At the moment, this is Hannah's story that uh, Maryam al-Islam's mom was called Hanna and father was called Imran. Okay? So, father, Maryam al-Islam's father was Imran. And Maryam al-Islam was kept, the name was kept by Hanna. So, they used to, they kept the name and they wanted to give this child for Allah's sakes to the temple. To the Christian, uh, in, in this tradition, they wanted to give it, this child, they want to give away this child for Allah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had and his own plans, subhanallah. Now what happened? Now the story goes on. The Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fatakabbalaha. So he accepted. When she gave, she gave birth, then Fatakabbalaha, so he accepted her, Rabbuha, her Rabb. Be kabooling with an acceptance. Allah said, okay, you've got a girl. You've got Maryam al-Islam. Yes, we accept you. Hasanan, good. Wa ambataha, and raised her, made to grow her. Nabatan, nabatan, naba, noon, ba, hamza, a growing, a raising, hasanan, good. She was grown up the, her, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted her. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised her a very good child. She was grown into a good child. How can you be good? A good children, how can be good children be? And Allah accepted her because she was very nice. He was nice to people. She was polite to people. She was obedient to Allah. She also prayed. She had, you know, uh, she was, uh, for good growth, what do you need? Milk. For good growth, you need good food. So she was like a good um, Hasanan. She was a good character. She was a grown-up. And what happened? That she was a good girl. So, Vakaffalaha Zakaria. Zakaria al-Islam said that I want to be her guardian. I will look after. When, you, when children are good, people are ready to look after them. So, uh, so Allah, uh, the Zakaria al-Islam said that I will protect her. I will be a guardian to her. Kullama, whenever dakhala, he entered alaiha upon her, Zakaria. Zakaria, when, whenever he entered upon, uh, upon her, like in her, uh, in her place, in her mahrab, in the mosque, in the Baitul Muqaddas. So, because Maryam al-Islam uh, was given in, um, in the mosque, in the Metal Muqaddas, and talked to, you know, this, uh, wherever there was this, uh, where the, where Palestine is, and where uh, these, uh, all these places are, all these places are still there. That's why it's Palestine is so sacred to Muslims. Why? Because they have this mosque, this Metal Muqaddas, where Maryam al-Islam was there. And talk to the take carers, 
and worshippers of the mosque and Zakaria al-Islam being one of them told them that she had vowed to de dedicate the child in the service of Allah and therefore she could not keep the child with her. So she gave the child from her house. She didn't keep the child. She gave it away in the Baitul Muqaddas. She asked them to take care of her and keep her. So there the take care was the take carer was Zakaria. So he was, um, as the Imran al-Islam was the imam of this mosque, his, her father, he had died during the pregnancy of Maryam al-Islam. So the father of Maryam al-Islam died when she got pregnant. With The mother was pregnant. Otherwise, he would have been the most deserving person to take care of her own child, being the father and the imam of the mosque. So every keeper and worshipper of the mosque wished to take care of her custody as she was a very good, a very good child. She was very obedient. Zakaria al-Islam now pleaded. He took the oath that he will be the custodian, the protect, the guardian. She will take the guardianship of Maryam al-Islam. So he used to go to the to the room to her room and gave her food. So once he was entering the uh, entering the Beit al Muqaddas, this is what is happening. The, she was very good girl, and when he entered, Zakaria al Islam wanted her um, wanted her guardianship. So whenever Zakaria al Islam entered the mahrab, the mahrab, the mosque, wajada in the rizqa. He found near her so many provisions, so many things. So he found food with her. She was, she she was locked in the metal mukaddas. Nothing could go there. But when she, when Zakaria al Islam went into the mosque, he saw her with so many food. So he used to ask, Kala Mariamu Anna, Anna Laki Haza. So, so he asked Mariam al Islam, he said, Mariam, Anna, from where, Laki Haza, from where are you getting these, these, um, these fruits and these eatables? From where are you getting these? Kalat, she said, Huamin Indilla. She said that it is from my Allah. Allah feeds me. So finally, everybody agreed, first of all, that only Zakaria al-Islam will open the door for her. And she was locked inside, remember. And no stranger would go and see her. And Zakaria al-Islam turned out to be the winner from all, from all the... Uh, all the keepers and the worshippers of the mosque to uh, to be the custodian. So he got custody of Maryam. According to some reports, he employed a wet nurse to have her suckled. Other other reports says that she just did not need to be suckled. She grew up able to sit and walk by herself. She was a baby, and she was looked after by the angels of Allah. And she was in the house, in the mosque. When he went out, he locked the house and opened it on return. This was being stated briefly in the in the other verses. Now what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah says that he she was given food from Allah. In Allah yarzuku man yasha. Indeed of Allah, indeed. Inna indeed Allah yarzuku, he provides, he gives risk, man yasha, to whom he wills, bighayri hisab, without any reckoning. Without anything, Allah can only give the risk to whomever he, he says. Here, now, Zakaria al-Islam story starts. We'll just end here at 37 ayah. Now, from these uh, ayahs, 
we come to know that girl is not like a boy. A girl has a has pregnancy. A girl can give birth to the to the babies. The boy, the boy has to be what more power, powerful. He has more. The boy has more strength. The boys need to go out and work. They are brave. They they can they can do different things. But the girls, they are they can't do everything. They can cook. They have their different duties. They they can what what the girl can do a boy cannot do. Both can study. Both can do good uh, uh, good deeds. Both pray the same. The girl and the boy have the same uh, you know worship duties. They 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 have to uh, pray pray salah. They have to keep uh, uh, keep their fast. They can do hajj. They can go umrah. They have to give their zakat. All these duties are the same. But their formation is different. A woman cannot have the same duties which, which a man has. The, the mom is a mother and a, a daddy is a father. The daddy can take care of more things and the mom can take care of the household and household things. She is not being asked. A woman will never be asked that she works or not works or earns or not earns. But a man, whenever he will work, he will feed his children. It's his duty to give, feed his children, to feed his wife, to feed the mother, to look after the mother, to look after uh, the wife. This is in Islam. In Islam, uh, a man looks after her, um, her, uh, his, his family and he is the guardian and he is the caretaker. He locks the door, he gets up, he, he watches everything. So this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us. A man is a different and a boy is different. Got it? So these are the ayah we have completed up, up till ayah number 37. Anything else we, we learn is the uh, from these ayahs that Alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts whatever is given to him for Allah's sake. She was a girl. We can, a girl can also work for Allah and be uh, and be obedient. So the, the worshippers will be the same. And Allah can take care of anybody, whomever he wants, in, whom, in whatever he, uh, ways he wants to. And we should all protect we should pray this inni o izuha because zurriya tuha mina shaitan rajim. We should always shelter ourselves against shaitan. Shaitan always is the worst enemy of of people. Mm -hmm. So, Subhanallah. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, um, uh, yeah, from, from these ayahs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you ask protection in the morning and in the evening from shaitan. How do you ask protection? Please, when you open the doors, you open the fridge, you open, open the uh, car door, what do you say? A'uzu billahi min shaitan rajim. And you always, when you are drinking milk, you are drink, you are eating something, you always say Bismillah, so that Shaitan does not drink and eat from you. He, he has no share. If you say Bismillah, Shaitan has no share with your food. If you say Bismillah, Auzu Billah, Auzu Shaitan Rajim, you come into the protection of Allah. So, will you remember Sara and Safa? Will you remember these things? Whenever you open something, open a bottle, open a door, opening a car door, um, uh, opening your room door, whatever you open, you are closing something, you say, Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. Okay? And when you open something, you say, Bismillah. And you give protection. So here we finish our class today. 
So always remember, Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. You don't want to give it to Shaitan. Shaitan is the worst enemy. He is the cursed one from Allah. He will be thrown into hellfire. So whoever will be friends to Shaitan will be thrown into hellfire. So we don't want to go into hellfire after we die. We have to be in Jannah. All the good people will be in Jannah. So be, uh, be like, uh, like good character, good people, obedient to Allah and, and obedient to your parents and look after yourself and your, uh, yourself in such a way that you protect yourself from shaitan. Jazakumullah khair. Barakallah fi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu lay. Wa akhru dawana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhum.